Okay, 17, 10, good luck. So we've not played before, we have no head to head score. Oh, only 86 games for opponent and 12 in rapid, so it's a new account, okay. Mm. How new is the account? Three weeks, it's only three weeks. What do I want to do? Well, let's just stick to C5. Well, let's take... Right, let's develop. We can throw a check in as well, but I was trying to get castled. It probably was a good move, though. Hmm. Let's play a pawn up to cover. This bishop can drop back. Okay, how do we want to do this? It's awkward getting the bishop out in it, so I'm going to have to move the knight first. Hmm. He's playing very well here. You can see he knows what he's doing, so I think he's stronger than 1700. He knows what he's doing. Okay. I'm going to maybe come this way. Sack a knight and pawn to get rid of that dangerous bishop for further in the game, if I can. I might not be able to. Let's play a rook across. Okay, bishop comes forward. Let's hit the bishop, see if he trades. If he does, I guess I'll have to go there. But yeah, you can see he knows what he's doing, so... I'm going to gamble and castle. It's a bit of a risk, but I do have a bishop I can use as a giant pawn, which I'm going to have to use as a giant pawn. Now, can I go here? Take takes. Knight has to move. Knight takes. It might actually be a move. Let's go forward. If the knight moves, I'm threatening to take here, I think, at some point, or just jump across. Depends what he does. If he goes back, I think I can take. I might be wrong, but I think I can. And that's what he's done, so I think I can grab a pawn. Knight takes, we just take with a check. Yeah, I think I need to take. Okay, check. Hmm, now it makes sense, I think, to pop the knight right bang in the middle so it's guarded. He's probably going to fly down the board, but I don't think I can go here, so I'll just come into the middle. The knight's very well placed now, though. It's a very good setup for white, this in principle. It's risky if he flies forward, which he could, of course, do. Bishop up, I don't like. I don't want to leave my queen where it is, so... Well done. Knight up isn't a move, is it? Let's get the queen out of the way there. Knight check is dangerous as well, just like bishop takes is dangerous. Everything's dangerous. Rook across is dangerous as well. Yeah, he's going for a potential trade, but can I grab a pawn now? Knight check is covered. That might be a, a blunder. It allows me to get a pawn. We attack the knight as well. The knight's forward, so can we just take? We can certainly take the bishop, right? Yeah, I think I should take the bishop, because I'd be very happy to trade the queen. Oh, we can. That gives him an isolated pawn. Then we take him, and we'll get another isolated pawn here as well. Okay. So I assume we just simply double the rooks up and pile the pressure on the pawn here. And then try and run the king across. It should be good for us as a principle. It doesn't mean it's winning, but it should be good at least. So here, and I can plant a king, but does it fall victim to something like this? Possibly. Hmm. I'm going to go forward to stop the white king coming in and maybe here. Then rook across at some point. If he pushes, do I mind that? I don't think I do. Let's come across and go forward. I'll try to. So just hit the pawn. Okay. Let's push another pawn. It is five minute blitz, isn't it? Not three minutes, so we've got time. Not oceans of time, but we've got time. Again, if takes and he takes back, we can then check and go after this one. And that should be good as a principle, so I'm going to risk it. If down simply take, I mean, all the pawns might vanish, but should be good for us as a principle, you would think. Actually, what's wrong with going across order and trying to double up this way? Can he beat us to it? Maybe. Let's go here first. I can't actually really guard this now. So he just needs two moves, but we're going to go here and gamble. I think he should have gone for that idea. I think that might have been very good for him. So take a pawn. Trade a rook if we can. So check. 
We can obviously pin a rook. It's whether we take. I think we take first and then just check. So get the rook off and grab the other pawn. Wait, that's just a rook. You can see my pawn's a very decent player. You can see that. So a very dangerous opponent. We got a win, but a dangerous opponent. Very well played there. Just a simple mistake at the end, but very well played. So what have we done? 43 moves. So they're the move times for both players. So let's request an analysis and see how the engine says we actually played. You can see if I play players like this game after game after game, I'm going to lose my fair share of them. Very difficult one after another. Yeah, so we've been better and then gone a little bit worse. So we've been making some mistakes because the graph's been going down over. We've been making quite a few from the look of things. So level out of the opening. White what well, white was better how much? Just point not three. So basically we we'll level or better for the whole game, basically. And we just start to build a gradual advantage here. So how did we do it? Well, what's the engine said? No bad blunders either player. Yeah. 91% versus 86%. The CPL is 25 and 39. We just built a slow, steady advantage. But you can see my opponent understands the good basic fundamentals of chess playing. A decent effort. And I've aimed for this setup just to give my opponent lots of isolated pawns, whilst our pawns are pretty well guarded. But then we have been making some mistakes here, because you can see it's up and down. So lots of like little inaccurate moves. So obviously in your own games, just take your time. Like King F8 was a mistake. Should have played the rook up to c6, king f2, and then b6, and try and go for the idea, which I didn't even really bother to stop and think about, but it's common sense to just win a pawn, and that might be why I've made lots of mistakes. It would be the same concept. Yeah, it's the same concept, because I can go for the rook c6 and b6 idea. And then we jump to this point. Now here I played up. Now I thought, what's the idea? I was thinking something like this. The engine's just saying rook to b3, drop your rook back, yeah rook to b6, so the same concept to attack the pawn just from a different way. But then we grab a pawn, we check, we go after another pawn, and the engine's saying we're actually still much better, so what are we there? Yeah we're still plus four better basically, so we get one of the rooks off, so it was still okay for us, but it was a dangerous game, so well done.